Lori, go entertain yourself on YouTube. I am trying to recreate a pumpkin spice latte, so we're going to see how that goes. Um, first thing you want to do is get your blender stuff out. I have a Nutribullet. You can use whatever you want. Um, I think I figured it out. I'm so excited. So I have a can of pumpkin here, and I've already used half of it. I'm going to take the rest, the other half, and we're going to stick this down in here in our little blender cup. Ooh, yuck. And this is going to put you in mind of dog poop, but, you know, the end result will hopefully be worth it. So, the thing that I did that uh, seems to be a good thing is I ran a big cup of hot water over to put in with this pumpkin. And so while that's cooking up, I will um, go ahead and get going on the rest of this. I have a uh, real vanilla, so I need a teaspoon of that in there. So there's that. I have nutmeg, and I used a quarter teaspoon of nutmeg in there. And then I use a whole teaspoon of cinnamon. So that's going to seem like a lot, but uh, it's got to be spicy to do what Starbucks does. Um, so there's a teaspoon of cinnamon in there. And then last, I have ground cloves. So I did a half a teaspoon of that. I have this little handy dandy thing that keeps track. So, half a teaspoon of cloves. All right, then I'm not putting any sweetener in this until it goes into the coffee. So, we take our cup of water. I did like an eight ounce coffee cup of water and put that hot water right in on top of the pumpkin. The cool thing about the Nutribullet is that if you get the lid on tight enough, it doesn't leak. So, we'll spin this sucker for the world to see. I love this thing. Can I just say how much I love this thing? I love this thing. Okay, so here we go. Maybe. Maybe here we go. Come on, dude, do it. Okay. You want to look at it and see how thick it is. If it's kind of thick, it might need more water. It doesn't have to be hot. But I did it hot in the first place just so that it would go through the strainer easier. So we'll add a little bit more water to that. Okay, so then you get your lid, get your little strainer doodah. And I have this big bowl, and I already did some, so you see that's what it looks like. It's basically pumpkin water with a bunch of spice in it. So then you dump it in there. <gasps> Put on my shirt. I suck at this cooking show business, don't I? Oh well, I was going to change anyway. All right, so while I'm getting down to business here, straining this out, I will tell you that... How does Giada make it look so easy? So it's boobs, she just distracts you with her boobs. All right, so then you start straining that out of there. And you see it's pouring in there. And you just keep working it and working it and working it until you finally get the stuff in the top. I mean, some particles of pumpkin are going through the strainer, you can see that, but not a whole lot. Um, this will probably keep in the fridge. So then when I made my actual coffee, um, I just ran a regular cup of coffee, an eight ounce cup of coffee through the Keurig. I added a healthy dose of half and half, and then I poured some of this in there. I think probably from doing half a can of pumpkin with the measurements I gave you, you could probably get enough uh, syrup 
to do probably three or four cups of coffee. And then um, I added like four Splenda to get it sweet because you know Starbucks stuff is sweet. Eat, eat. So anyway, this is getting thicker and thicker in the top up here. As you get down to the bottom, you can kind of push on the edge and get it, you know, to strain on through there. I'll get the rest of that in a minute. But anyway, that's what it looks like. And you probably want to shake it or stir it before you put it in your coffee. But that is basically only pumpkin and spices. And pumpkin, let's see, it says there's three and a half servings in a whole can. So that's basically like about 170 calories in the entire can. There is uh, a little bit of sugar, natural sugar, in the pumpkin. There's no added anything. All that's in here is pumpkin. Um, it does have two grams of protein for a half a cup, but I have to assume that that probably is not going to get strained out in the water. And four, four grams of sugar. So the total in the can would be like four times three is 12, so like 14 or 15 grams of sugar in the whole can, but it's natural sugar. So that's my video. Went to the surgeon today. Uh, I've lost 32 pounds in six weeks. Showed you my feet on Facebook the other day. And uh, so, everybody's been talking about the pumpkin spice latte and how exciting that is. And so now I have it all over my shirt, but I'm excited that it tastes good. I, I tried it and it kind of tastes right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. So, better than the Starbucks alternative, which has no sugar free option at this point. So, um,. One and a half more weeks of fluids, and then I get to eat food again. So stay with me, folks. I'll see you next week.